Hello and welcome once again to a tutorial on how to utilize your iPad in order to create PDF documents uh, and you can then share them with uh, students in our learning management such as Schoology so that way they have access to them and can uh, create uh, on those PDFs and submit them back to Schoology for your review. So um, previously I've shown how to use Schoology or uh, Notability in order to do this task and I'm going to show you another tool that your iPad comes standard with that you can utilize for the same process and um, the tool I'm going to show you is just using the Notes app which is built into your um, iPad's operating system and this is the uh, process that I go through to do this. So I'm going to open the Notes app and you'll see you know I have some notes here on the left hand side what I'm going to do is right here on the bottom, I'm going to click on, uh, I'm in a new note, right? So I clicked here on the top for a new note. So if I was to go in here and tap the top here, I will have a new note. And then what I'm going to do is click here on this little camera icon. And when I do so, I have an option right here at the top to scan documents. So if I hit scan documents, you'll see this pop up. And it automatically detects the page. And if you hold down or if you hold for a second over it, it will take a picture for you. You can also utilize the button here obviously to take your picture, but you'll see it's constantly trying to search for um, square icons. It even will take your mouse pad and think that's a square that it wants to take a picture of. So once you're done and you've selected multiple copies, because you can do multiple page PDFs here, right? Um, you are going to want to hit save here down at the bottom. If I wanted to add another page, I could simply hold over it and add another page. Uh, I'm not going to do that at this moment though. So I'm going to hit save here on the bottom and you'll see that it has scanned documents here. If I want to write some notes that just remind me what it is that I'm using, I can do so. But um, what I'm going to do here is just show you how to send them over to Schoology so you can have access to them to use with resources um, and then send to your students. So if you tap here on your icon that you just created, it'll enlarge it, right? Or your um, PDF you just made. So now I have my PDF here, I'm using this one with my kids as we're home, um, and you tap again and you'll see you have a share button here up top. If I want to share it, I'm going to hit share, and you'll see that it has a copy to Schoology option. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. So once again, I don't want to submit to an assignment because I'm not in a class that I'm taking. I don't want to drop back to students, um, which would be a comment to a revision, like something they've already submitted. Uh, and what I'd like to do is add to my resources. So I'm going to tap there on the bottom. I Again, if you have something here that is already um, organized in a way that it has a folder you want to put this in, you can go ahead and do so. I'm going to go ahead and hit home as this demo. And then I'm going to hit up here, upload here. And this will upload my PDF. I get my file has been saved notification. I'm going to scroll down and here it is down at the bottom. Uh, it just takes a second for it to show up. Um, and then you will have, there it is, add your own planet. And um, I can now use that. If I go to the web version of Schoology on my laptop or um, any web browser, I can go to my resources and use that um, PDF that I just scanned in any assignment or any other Schoology uh, material I would have created. So that's how you do it using the Notes app on your iPad to create PDFs and send them to Schoology for use of um, or by your students. Hopefully you found this informative and are able to put this into practice in your course of study. Thank you for watching.